Hello everyone, Panda Man, we're back with another video. This time, you can't see him unfortunately, he should be up in the top left corner, but I turned the overlay off for this for, I forgot what reason, but anyway, we're playing with, a we're playing with AJ, unfortunately he doesn't have uh, emergency 4, so... Just yet. Yes, he may, it's on he, the list. He, he it's may on be the getting list. it. He's got there is no mate, I'm just a cheapskate and I want to get it as cheap as possible, you know. I was gonna... I've got projects in the working trooper, and you need to save the money so I can put them into those projects as well. Okay. That will make me money. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So. Alright, so, but anyway, we do have uh, EMS. We do have an EMS call that... There we are. The vehicle has been dispatched, so they're moving right now. It's an interesting delivery, I'll give it that. Yeah. Straight up. I, do I actually like don't it. mind it. I like how we both pretty much said the same thing. Anyway. Nice cinematics. Yes, let's just not mention pipelines or um, hostage situations again, shall we? Yes, of course. Yes, that's sure it's there. Oh, whoops, I redid. Well, well, well. You know, just for that, I hope. I think we're going to have a very quiet shift. I wouldn't worry about it. I hope it's a very quiet shift. Otherwise, why am I here? Pretty sure the lady could have probably carried herself, but we were just gonna be putting her in the putting her in the van and driving off. We're just being very polite, you know. Yeah. All right, so you know, obviously, so you know, the officer's probably gonna tell him that that you know they're go what, what station they're going to. Uh, escalate the situation. Boom, we're gone. All right, but any, but anyway. So, my goodness, because I did say the Q word, I think we're going to have to be recalling some off-duty police officers. So I'm going to go over to there. Here we are. Alright, so what do we have here? Alright, two police officers, please. Alright, we got it. I was thinking one on the... Uh a uh, march, two on the um, march unit. Oh, all right, I think that's all we have. Yeah. Because typically you'd only run one on the uh, march, which would be like a sergeant or something, and then yeah, yeah. Or if it is like truly a, a detective unit, sometimes they have like partners. Exactly. Sometimes though, it depends on the area though. Yeah. Cool if you could do that ELS, like. The um, flashes, not the rotating. If you could do that for SMG, that would be perfect. Yeah, that would be quite interesting. I would need to look into Florida's uh, little codes, though. I don't really know to what extent the um, to what extent these uh, are Florida for compliant. I think they're Montana compliant if they went through that. But anyway. We don't have to be perfect, Trooper. You know, it has to be realistic, but not perfect. Of course, you'd say. We can that. have a little bit of creative. We can have a little bit of creative freedom. All right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's see. What are you? That just looks wrong. Yes, indeed. The... I think we need to get the patient out, load him up on an ambo. Oh, a stretcher. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's not, she's not liking that too much. Why does he want to talk to the trooper? We'll be right back, folks. You know, I probably didn't really need to... to uh, pause it since that was like two seconds, but... 
Uh, yeah, we're back once more. We got, um, yeah, I was, uh, but yeah, like I said, quiet shift. Waka waka. Hey, hey. Sorry, Oh. Africa. You couldn't help yourself, All could right. you? Intoxicated person. Will, will, will. Since uh, you know what, since they, since it's a small town, we're just going to be sending one person. That the CVPI, is it? No, it is absolutely not a ninety. Uh oh, what are you doing? Oh no, officers in a fight. Officers in a fight. Officers in a fight. You so you still stand by that one officer roll? Um, rolling. Get big, get big, get big. You're in your wrist. You're in your wrist. Don't approach, 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 don't approach. Just shoot him already, just shoot him already, just shoot him already. Alright, so we got backup units arriving as we speak. Thou art under arrest. How does it take three cops to handle a drunk lady? All I can say is, at least she's under arrest. Person must be padded That's down. That's the good news. Cool. Alright, so, person is, has been padded down, and we are going. Uh, and all these guys can just come back to the base. Man. I think if we call a s no, I don't remember if these officers can treat if we can like treat or what, but all right. So we'll just send this one back to the station. Actually, we're just sending all three of these guys back to the station get a f get a fresh start of units. But all right, so we are in weird. Two minutes in. Those three, actually three. Mm -hmm. But AJ, can you believe that this, that they, that these guys have first generation Crown Victorias? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah first generation mm -hmm. Ford Crown Victorias in 2024. Actually, not 2024, but like probably like 2020. And what have we been talking about having for SMG? Yeah, but that's. Yeah, but like that's like different. How's it different, Trooper? I look forward to this explanation. Fire departments usually have old vehicles because there's no wear. There's not a, a large wear. Well, they do have wear and tear, but it's a lot different. C cops have a lot of wear and tear. They put these cars in park, in park f um, from like 10 miles an hour, which is. I don't, I don't even want to know. Actually. I, oh, I can't be bothered doing the math, so. Actually, hang on, we just do 1.6 times 10, isn't it? So that's 60 miles an hour. Uh, kilometers an hour, rather. <laughs> yeah, I, which is not fast, actually. I could run that. Yeah, but like when you're it's when you're when you're putting it in like park from that, that really wears on the transmission. In terms of the fire department, they just have their pumps running. I mean, yeah. The engine, mm -hmm. the actual engine on the engine is completely fine, but what is this now? Shoplifting, arrest, ar arrest, no, arrest all suspects, so, I... So how's the English going for you, uh, Trooper? It's doing terrible. Mm -hmm. So where is this suspect here? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I do appreciate how they have... I am. Mm. Usually I have two cops, but I've actually seen. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, if he's running from the cops, then we're sending another unit down there. What agency is that unit? 
Uh, fish and wildlife. Fish and wildlife respond to a bank robbery. I well, mean, not bank robbery, but theft. Oh yeah, we always have a minimum of two units because they always need to be patted down. But to be fair, AJ, they all go to the exact same academy. They're all they're all they're all Weird. certified law enforcement officers in the state of Montana. It's the same thing with uh, New Hampshire. They all go like corrections officers. They're all certified. They all go through the exact same academy, and they're all certified law enforcement officers. They just have different JDs jurisdictions. I know what you meant. Don't worry. Yes, we're just worried about the viewers who uh, always have to listen to my brain rot. All right, but anyway, we also do have the Beaverhead County Sheriff. Uh huh. I thank you actually for saying that because now I understand why my IQ has gone down since we've been friends. Okay. <laughs> Just say hey, you got me a few insults off camera, so I'm getting my <laughs> mine back. <laughs> the bariatric ambulance incident, yes. <laughs> then you call me fat pretty much straight afterwards. So yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Feeling the love. All suspects have been in custody. We probably... Hang on, where's the... Ah, oh, I was about to say. AJ, what are your thoughts on the light bars, though? I think this is like an Argent of some sort. Uh, Vista, I think, actually. Actually, actually yeah, the, yeah, Ar yeah. the Argent is the LED, is like the... LED the version. Of, Vista, yeah. I think, is the, um... Strobe version of LED. Uh, or... yeah. yeah. I mind it. Not sure about the car, but I can't quite work out that model. Dodge Interpret. In, uh, the, and the only reason why I know that is because I've seen them around every now and then. And also, mm -hmm. uh, it's listed. Besides the Rams, um, I don't think Australia really has much in the way of Dodges. I, th I mean, yeah, I think... Isn't it Holden for you guys? GM, yeah, um, Holden. Actually, no, no, no. Okay. Well, it yeah. used to be. It, it used to be. As I say, it can't be Holden, because that's Chrysler. Or, uh, uh, because Dodge is Chrysler. We do get the Chryslers, but we don't actually really get the Dodge, as I said, with yeah. some exceptions. As like, if I wanted to buy a Charger, for example, it's going to cost me over 200k to do it. To buy it or import it? <gasps> to import it. Uh, Active shooter, active shooter, after Send everything you measly got, fellas. Se measly. Hmm. Well, well, well. Right. You couldn't have insulted them more if you tried. Everything, lads. Everything you got. Staging area. Go, go, go. And viewers, he thinks they can. Act like, let me rephrase that. And viewers, he thinks they can actually hear him. Holy moly, that is a high caliber weapon, yes sir. Who cares if you're if you only got pistols and shotguns? Take him down, boys. If you if you mass him with them with enough guns, then we got him. Yes, we do. That is how it is. What are you doing? He's got a gun. He's reaching. He's reaching, and he's just shot him point blank in the head. <laughs> Um, right as the highway patrol arrives. Oh my. You know, I kind of, uh, wow. You know, th there's a lot of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The most important part here is you need to be rolling ambulance for him. I just got rid of the traffic because I don't, I don't think the traffic should be mounting up that much. No. But yeah, uh, you've got a person on the ground who I could still interpret as alive. Yeah, he's alive, unfortunately. Even though he's been shot point blank in the head, but no, we're we're, we're not gonna actually. Go that far. You, actually, yeah, you I just I forgot don't know what someone could survive from. Yeah, it depends where the bullet goes, but yeah. 
Alright, let's get cordons established. Nobody needs to see this dead body. Get away, lady. Not quite dead. Not quite dead. Yes, of course. Right, you are. Right, you are. Only marked vehicles on cordons. Only marked vehicles on cordons. Will, will, will. I guess for the picture. I guess for media purposes we can have uh, the shotgun now. What am I doing? This isn't 5M. <laughs> Which you clearly played a lot thereof. <laughs> retro roleplay 5M. <laughs> Life is yeah. retro roleplay 5M. It has the answers to all of our questions. Well, well, well. Anyway. Yeah, that's always been that's always been the rule. Mart vehicles only on cordons. I guess. Huh. I mean, I would like you know, like, like slick, slick slick tops and mark and marks only on cordons. Cause, yeah, no, it happens. Because with the because with the AI, I guess we just can't have nice things in in five M. Although when you think about it, it makes sense for marked vehicles. Yeah. To be used for that purpose anyway. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah, just for Yeah. Yeah, I, I do get why I mean it's just the slick tops, like, they have enough lighting. Not to the. Mm. Looks like the side could be is lacking, but yeah. Honestly, you need to look at the age of the car too. So. Yeah, it's like a. That's like a. I think two thousand or. It's an old Chevy Caprice, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think. Thirteen, maybe. It'd be about that. Maybe a little bit before. Yeah, at least the generation was in was in thirteen. I don't know, when like the rest of the years were. But... What are you doing? Oh, I see. Alright, um... I guess we're just gonna have the sheriff go away. You know, we're just gonna have this one vehicle going. You can go. And of course he's got his direction on his own still. Alright, Highway Patrol, I guess he can stay here. And then we're gonna, just gonna have MPPD out. All suspects in custody. All right, we're good. What the? I'm gonna quit. That's all my um, gear around. Yes. Like don't get me wrong, the Crab Victoria is often mistaken for being a terrible off road, but it's actually pretty good off road. But I don't think it can make it up there. <laughs> no, the I think that'd be pushing its limits. Especially when the water is uh. You know, kind of goofy, but anyway. Bro, how is this town this populated, bro? There's a there's there's like there's gotta be a thousand people here, maybe. Actually, we're gonna we're just gonna just for the to give the department justification to have like the five officers it has, probably closer to like two thousand. Um. <laughs> so you're saying this town has a population of two thousand with five police officers? Yeah, dude. Six actually. I'd be lucky if my hometown, with a population of almost ten thousand, had two police officers. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it, it depends really. So. In terms of New Hampshire towns, you towns uh, actually, I think the smallest town with the police department is 1,000. That's the town of Newcastle, I believe. It's in uh, actually no, it's not in my area. It's more, it's closer, closer yeah, yeah. east. But um, 
but they have I think seven officers and they with a thousand people but it's I think yeah in terms of land area it's it is the smallest but well let's just put it this way I'm our police station up here is actually more of a satellite station than actually like an actual functioning police station yeah uh, Which is funny, considering we have a very high crime rate up here. Mm. Particularly of Grand Theft Auto, drugs, Fun. and um, let's just say criminal enterprises. Mm. Is this and do your does your police force in the area have like is it like a local police force or is it like a provincial police force? Uh, or national, federal, AFE. It's state, state. Yeah. We have in Australia we have federal police, we have state police, and then within the state police is also a highway patrol. So, and and then that's yeah. all for police, or is there local police as well? We don't have local police in Australia. I see. So, and. Fire services are very much the same way, and ambulance services. Yeah. So. So it appears that um, some of these traffic lights have the cursed bug, where. Ah yes. And look, see, see if so that we're in fast motion right now, but hang on. Transport. Mm-hmm. Oh, AJ, you know what I just forgot? We forgot the victim. Good Wait. job. Poor man, he's dying on the ground. Well, well, well. Well, so you know how you guys have um, DOT and those sort of services? Yeah, transportation, yeah, it's, it's, it's usually it's state, but then you got some areas with county... County yeah, we got... don't have state. We have private enterprises out here. Mm. Most of our government, or what would be government, is private enterprise. So, yeah. Mm. Person's been shot and requires medical attention, but he is not moving, which is not good. Yeah, he's dead. That happens, I suppose, unfortunately. What's going on? It's a tragic reality. Send email supervisors, send detectives. All right, so first off, send. We're, we're going to be calling for detectives because they take forever. Oh, email yep. email supervisor. If I think they're coming from Dylan, though, I don't know where they are. I think they're from like the north. I think. I do, I just don't know where they are. Yeah. I don't know if they're like a town over or what, but uh right. We gotta send the corner down here to US Supervisor has been dispatched, right? Yep, it has. Yeah. So we'll probably just You might want to call an extra um squad as well. I'm just gonna real quickly make sure that... Okay, so I just want to real quickly make sure that at least all these vehicles can get through. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so, alright, so these vehicles are going to get through at one point. All right. So, believe it or not, yeah. the detectives actually beat the, uh, beat the EMS supervisor. That's interesting. I said you might want to send another squad. You got the highway patrol there, but, uh... Yeah, we need Ooh. to move this ambo off the road. This boo boo bus. Very interesting scene, manager. That's all I'm gonna say. It's done. Hmm. Well, you know, want to keep traffic off the road. No, so I can't even do anything about these patrol cars because they're so stubborn. They're not. They're not moving. 
I also love how there's two how there's two generations of Crown Victoria right here. Mm-hmm. Can we all know which one would be your favorite? Mm, believe it or not, I actually do like the first generation, but the second generation I like the best. Okay, I don't believe that, but um I'm surprised. Don't believe what? I actually thought you were going to like the older more than the newer. Nah, Grand Victoria is... The, se the second generation is the most iconic. Oh yeah. It's like, even in 2024, every single... Well, not every single... Um, a lot of the cars that you see are Grand Victorias. In, like, police movies, you know? But, you know... Mm -hmm. Of course, in... Obviously, in shows like The Rookie, you know, they you don't see as much of them. Just because yeah, they're actually, really they're going off. for the um, Explorer. Yeah, they're based so. off of the actual, like, the actual APD. So, you know, like, you got Explorers, you know, you got the Tahoe every now and yeah. then. You got, yeah, you got stuff like that. They had a couple of crown fix on the show, but um, not many. So. There's more LASD that had the... Um, Crampics. They actually, believe it or not, they actually bought like 600 of them in their like in their final year manufacture. Yeah. I actually don't think Australia runs any of its own brand anymore. So the Falcons or the Commodores, I think they're completely um, our service. Good, it, so. it really does suck, but the unfortunately, like the sedan around the well, not around the world, um, but like sedans like in the U.S., you know, like yeah, sedans like in the in in the U.S. in in Ooh, Europe, yeah. they're completely in Europe, they're fine, kind of. They're -ish. still prosperous, but hmm, all slightly dying. They're yeah, in the U.S. Unless if you're looking at like resold stuff, like like re, yeah, like resold stuff, like unfortunately you're not like it, it's a dead breed. Mhm. Mm Go ahead. Go ahead. And you know the Crown Victorias, although you know, obviously they didn't do as as good in the snow as the Explorers did, but that's just because of you know, yeah. it's just because. They were like that. They didn't have. So uh, why I ask? You go. No, you go. No, you finish. You go, nerd. Okay. Uh, the way I see it, though, is each one fills its own position, and when you get rid of one, you open up a position for the other side to exploit. So people will go to what will actually help them get away with. A crime. So, if police are running an SUV, which is a heavier vehicle that's going to take longer to get to speed, then people are going to go for coupes and um, sedans. Yeah, and so, if you're talking about like the like the new hybrids, those things get to zero, get from zero to sixty in like a millisecond. Like the hybrids, like sorry, but like maybe not five seconds. many are running the hybrids. Yeah, I mean, I. If I remember correctly, um, uh, a town I did a police uh, ride along with, um, I think I was in the hybrid cruiser, and we, uh, and there was like a, a lady in a car going like 15 to 30, so 20 over. He just like jerked the wheel to the side, you know, and then he like went into the, or um, turned around, and then he started going. Thing took off. Like there was like yeah. nothing in our there was nothing in our way, so we just floored it. But I do remember. I think their top speeds close to like one twenty five or one thirty. Mhm. Mm and that's actually been tested by the officer I went on a ride along with. <laughs> oh my! He was in the pursuit. It's fine. Yeah, I figure as much. Yeah, but high speed, high speed pursuit. He said that it was like one thirty-five, and 
But and there was like nothing left. Like there was nothing much left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, Australia is still very much we are very balanced with our fleets, as in there is still um a large portion of sedans and wagons. Uh but we've started to incorporate a lot more SUVs and um as we would call them utes into our fleets as well, so through the snow in a rusty hole oh. you <laughs> But yeah, um so we do actually still have quite the variety in Australia, so it's our fire service that's losing its variety at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Our ambulance services, uh, well, at least for my state, they're starting to pick up their act and starting to add a bit more variety to their fleet in the setups. Um, we're starting to get box ambulances back. Um, we're just running what you guys would call a ambulance. Um, <laughs> as pretty much the main ambulance, so the main a ALS unit. Um, Before the 80s. Actually no, before you know never mind, before the sixties, no ambulances. Or ambulances, yes. But yeah. everything else is fine. Also, what is this guy doing? But yeah, um so we're starting to get our fleet back into order, which is nice. It's taken I don't know how many years, but we haven't really run um uh, sorry, ran any uh at least in my state any um boxes for a at least 10 years. Mm. So. Mm, yes, that's. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think the, the ambulances can be more. be a bit better, like. in certain aspects, definitely. Like, than, better than ambulances. What am I about? I'm um, not sure. Dip more, I just think it's more space, but it depends. It depends on what type of like you're looking for. Well, we've been using. Actually, the floor within our services are we only use really one brand, and that's Mercedes Benz Sprinters. Mm. So we don't even we don't even use multiple models. We pretty much just use one model, one brand. So. If something was to go wrong with that model, we're kind of screwed ourselves. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Forest fire, lads. Forest fire. All right. Tanker. Brush. Wait. I'll oh, go. Uh, come back. Uh, just for now, DNRC crew. Let's get those guys over there. More, more, more. Where's the hang on? Mutual aid water tender, mutual aid brush. All right. All right. Bro, what? Where's the jolly volleys at? No volunteers are available. What do you mean there's no volunteers available? I well, guess. thank heavens you got some mutual aids on the way. Yes, indeed. Just, you know, just, just for that, I, I guess... Hmm. That's, real, that's real funny. How do you mean there's... Oh, you know, you know what it is. It's it's the late. It's late at night. It's late at night. So and they're all volunteers too. So we gotta get Lima VFD out here, and I think we're good. And so these guys are gonna. That really doesn't help the reputation of um, the Jolly Volley. I will say that much. No. It's hit or it's usually hit or miss. In terms of in terms of like fire departments, it's hit or miss. Yeah. Like 
I know. Uh, hang on, isn't there someone sitting in the station right now? What? Because I saw someone sitting. Yeah, there's someone the, dead. That's the dispatcher. I see. Ah, look at that beauty. An old Pierce, yeah. Pretty sure it... That's Tom's. There it is. That's a Ford L um, 8000, isn't it? Mm, yes. Alright, so we we're. Alright, so. State crews are on scene, surprisingly. Well, actually, to be fair, I did dispatch them first, so. Alright, so let's see here. I'm pretty sure this is actually broken. Is it not? Oh, never mind. Nope. They fixed it. Yay! So all these guys are getting a steady supply of water. Ah, uh, the yeah. Stay cool, yeah. I'm just gonna give this guy an extinguisher. All right, how how are we doing over here? Well, well, well. I guess we're just gonna let the fire burn out. Stop that fire. It spreads too much, but it looks like it's just burning out quite literally. That's not good. No. Pack it back up, boys. Pack it back up. Actually, could we? Yes, we could have actually put a gated Y in. We could have also extended the fire hose. That's pretty silly. Give me the jolly volleys. I wonder if I wonder if they'll join up. I wonder if they'll call up now. Nope, no volunteers. Okay. 
Imagine saying that to the mutual aid department that the department they're supposed to be supporting isn't even coming. When you, you know, driven up the wall by that? I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad that we're a force in the sky, because uh, I don't think they want to hear that. Yes. Well. Hmm. Gentlemen, open your hoses over here, please. Send fire hoses, all of you. Send fire hoses. Well, well, well. They're going the exact wrong direction. Uh, I think this is actually never mind. It's, it's just going to burn out anyway. Oh, and just in the nick of time, we are out of water. Alright, you just... Where did the other firefighter go? There he is. That's one of them. Good to have you back, but... Hang on, let's hear it. I feel like that guy's doing all the work by himself. Yep. Yeah. It's honestly, AJ, what would your reaction be that the uh, if you if you're told that the fire department that you're supposed to be called out to, to support is like coming, let's be a bit more specific. If you're talking about my local brigade, which I will never serve with, if I was told they weren't coming, I think there's a word I would actually be able to use that wouldn't get you banned. Me. If it's just another brigade around somewhere else then yeah it'd be annoying but we'll just get over and done with mm -hmm. however if it was one of the local brigades where I am right now like I said I wouldn't serve with by choice um yeah well I would be ropeable so hey yeah actually and the chief is coming out the chief is coming out a bit late. Yes, quite. Quite late. Actually, I'm curious if the battalion chief can take command of this situation since. Uh. I like the sound it makes. Uh. <laughs> yep. And here you'd think reversing would be harder. It's like, I think the dri drivers in Emergency 4 are like the best drivers and the worst drivers at the exact same time. Because they're able to like do like 180s like with the, without, without like a second thought. But like, the moment you, yeah, I thought the moment you give them a basic order, yeah, the, the, moment, the, the moment you give them a basic order, they're gone. I also love the fact that you completely just ignored the insult or accepted it. I didn't even hear you. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. right. I was just saying you were actually describing yourself. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a forest fire. Let's see if MVFD is coming over. But the chief is, I can tell you that much, he's out and about. He's out in the boot. But, alright, let's see here. Oh, oh, engine just and tank. Of you. course, no volunteers are available. Well, well, well. All right, let's call. You know, we just gave the we just gave those guys. Uh, yeah, Beaverhead Fire District. Let's get those guys out. It is two a.m. for the volunteers. So, 
I'm sorry, if you're a volunteer, yeah, you don't matter what time, you go. Real, bro. If you're rostered, you go. Real, bro. Yeah. So that's your new phrase for the month, is it? What? Real, bro? This is something I've been saying on and off for the past, like, five years. A bit uh, like, allegedly? Yeah. Actually, no, that was last year's word. Allegedly. Ah. Uh, and they made a small, um, comeback. Yeah. Danny Chief is on scene. He's just awaiting for his completely, uh, goofy volunteers. No volunteers available. 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 Get out of my head, get out of my head. Alright, so we do have our good friends. They're also oblivious to the fact that nobody is coming. Like I said, you'd hate to be responding to someone else. Just so the volleys in that area can have a good night's sleep. What is that? Is that a Kenny? Yes, it is a Kenny. Oh, I'm not convinced. I think it could be more of a, um... Actually, it could be. No, Peter. actually, no, yeah. it's. Uh, you're right, it is a Peter. Hang on. Yeah, we're not gonna bother. You'll have to stop in a minute, so do it then. Do what then? When are you gonna, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, set the line up. Are well, these battalion chiefs are just gonna goof it off? That sounds like you and I in SMG. Yes. <laughs> so you think? You know what? Hey Jay, what do you think is better, Ford or Chevy? Technically, I can't make comment. What? Oh, yeah. I technically can't make a comment on that. I've had nothing but good experiences with Ford, but Chevy? Well, in terms of the age of Chevy, like, uh, in terms of, like, the old ones. Mm-hmm. Terrible. 1999 to 2007. They are, those are the worst years of transmissions for tr for Chevy. And and I had a 2000 and a 2006 Chevy truck. The first one just the first one was fine, but it rotted off the frame. The second mm -hmm. one, yeah. The the second one that we actually still have it actually just got fixed, and we've got a we got a better uh, transmission for it. Mm -hmm. I and it's a, and it's a refurbished one too, so I'm curious. Yeah. I'm curious how it's how that's gonna play out. All right, so both you guys. Okay, what's the incident? No. Well, um, I drive a Nissan, so. Ah, it appeared that someone uh, was a bit uh, was a bit drunk, so instead of the. So the alcohol is swimming around in his belly while he, while the actual man himself is swimming around with the fishies. Anyway. Ah oh, yes, guess the mafia is involved too. Yes. Right, we're just gonna have to call a crane. Man is all right. Uh, sir, water rescue, and do we need a supervisor? Let's clean up spilled oil. All right. Do we have fire? Personally, no. I would stand that one, yeah. No, we do not have fire, actually. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna request a rescue out. Mm, 
tow all involved vehicles. Alright, so we're going to need two tows. One, two. Also PD for traffic control. I love how the crane gets here first. Yep. Mm. And is... Well, what brand is that? Crane? Mm, I think it's just the base game one. But... I couldn't tell you, actually. Considering its uh, body and everything... Of Hmm. Give me one of those roosters. I want to say. I want to say uh, liver, but um, I feel like that would be a real over statement. Mm, it could be. I, I I don't really know what the race is for to be. To be completely honest. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It, it, so a while ago, I learned that the Wheeling Edge could actually still could actually be a. A rotator. Like, parts, uh -huh. of it, parts of it could be a rotator. Very interesting. Yeah, wouldn't fact, that... Isn't it? Yeah, the ends, I'm pretty sure, yeah, would yeah, be. Yeah, the ends, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of that power call. <laughs> That's the high low. We'll have to listen. Nope. Oh, leave it. Ah! Cool. Ugh, you're getting quite the, um... Chaotic scene. Oh my goodness, look at that, it's an old Spartan. Spartan. Yeah. Spartan. Okay, that was just overkill for the fact it's already on scene. Alright, let's get oil binder, push broom. Where is this oil? There is no oil spill. It's quite lit. Yeah, it's like Imagine if it was under the truck and it just explodes in like a fiery, fiery uh, glow ball. We don't want that to happen. Yes, you're right. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, extricate all person in there. Extricate. Alright. Since we may have. We're just going to call a couple of ambos out. Dutch Shrango. Oh, yes. Alright, we'll just get this. Yeah, Dutch Shrangos are quite cool, the old ones. Always, I always th thought they looked unique. Okay, kind of like the DTI unextinguisher. <laughs> and it's, um,. Fellow one, which was that one's name again? The DTI Ladder Downer. <laughs> it was a ladder downer, okay. So it was. Yes. I mean, ladder downer might not even go into go into service or uh, go into production at all. Because the the lore I have for the for my for the Roblox DTI DV Trucks Incorporated, by the way, for Roblox, mm -hmm. um. Is that they went bankrupt after after the unextinguisher came out? That's how much. So you can't really go ahead and yeah. do it. So you have to either come up with a new company, or or just, or just bring it uh, back. Bring it back, which yeah. American and France came out, or it came back a couple times actually. Hmm. Alright, person is deceased, so we're gonna need to grab our oh, beaverhead, EMS supervisor, and then a county corner van. How many people do we have deceased here? Wow, we have wow, both are deceased, and we'll just check on this old lady. Measure. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
AJ, what are your thoughts on this light bar right here? You wouldn't like my answer. <laughs> By which I mean I like them, so... Oh. I mean, that's kind of a, kind of a good thing. I one. mean, it's unique. It stands out. Exactly. Uh, Hence why I believe we should have some for, uh... <laughs> no. I was waiting for the answer. Yeah, if I'm just going insane like that, probably not. Alright, take a minute of incident. Well, where is this... oil spill? Uh, probably get the car tire and you'll... Might be under there. Might be under there. So you don't mean to tell me it's under the car. It could be under the car. And technically, by that point, it wouldn't be the oil, it would be the um, fuel that most likely be trying to clear up. It's like, yeah, there's legitimately, there's legit, oh, nope, never mind, found it. It was under the car, and it's uh, actually, by, by the looks of it, it's seeping into the body bag, so that might not be good. Easy. <laughs> Hmm. What type of light bar is this? Do you know, AJ? It looks very familiar, but um. Or is it? Or do you think it's just like a generic? Ah, uh, it's not generic. It's branded. I just can't put my finger on it. They probably got rid of Same. the branding on that for the obvious cop reasons. copyright reasons, yeah. But also for the fact of what. So it adds a little bit more lag to the game. Yeah. There's pretty legitimate yeah. reasons to remove it. Alright. Uh, get oil or push from. Alright, we're good there. Do we just wanna. Let's see, your cleans. Check. Alright. Why do I have two of these? Right. Uh, you know, actually, we also need um, detectives. I'm not quite sure why we need detectives. Like, na actually, mm, never mind. Crash, crash. Uh, uh, investigation. Yeah, crash investigation. Yeah. Well, so I think the game wants you to uh, transport the old lady. Yeah, good. Yeah. So we'll just put her in the. We'll just put her in the ambo and. Looks like she's been escorted if she'd been arrested. Yeah, As it's, if just been the, arrested it's just the silly, silly animations of the game. Anyway. I will say, these double bubbles, they are quite good. Uh, um. Hey, if you want to use any of those in SMG, please go right ahead. Yes, quite, quite nice, I will say. Quite nice. Hang on, does it have command on the side? Hmm? Uh, I assume... Look, we are well. Yeah, I see, yeah. Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, hmm. Where is... Bridge ahead. Bridge me ice in cold weather. Can they just check inside the corner, Ben, or do we need to get them both out? I think we broke it, not gonna lie. I don't know uh, what what they want us to do here, because keep forgetting that you, 
you have the detectives do it, but uh, doesn't doesn't have the mechanic to do it. Well, we'll just send these away. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're both going the same direction. I wonder if the game will register that. Maybe they're not. I don't think they are in the going in the same direction. Well, well, well. They're going off road. That detective is going crazy. What that? When did this guy get? You know, we're not gonna question. No, no, no. no. Like I said, they're the best drivers <laughs> and the worst drivers at the exact same time. Give them a really like complex order, you, they will follow it. Like give them a basic order, no, no, they're stupid. <laughs> All right, so what would we have here? All right, transporting all involved persons. They are indeed being transported and... Where is the other... Other what? Mm, I don't want to ask. I uh, think spilled oil. Alright, you know what, I think we'll just uh, leave it here since apparently... Yeah, we're, we're at like an hour already. Whoa. Woo, woo, woo. Alright, anyway. AJ, uh, what were your thoughts on this, you know? We got we, we got a bit of shooting, okay. you know? We got a bit of forest fires, you know? We got really, uh, really lazy volunteers. I was about to say, we got really lazy volunteers, Bro, yeah. no volunteers are available still. Bro. You, you have... Got volunteers assigned, yes? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Never mind, they're here. Wow. All you had to do was um, page them, essentially. Yeah, it, I think it's just certain times of the day they're unavailable. I guess we're gonna be sending them to a call in our district that is already, is already, you know, gone. We'll say, what are your, what are your thoughts on that sports. thing? I think it's pretty cool. You know me, I love my Ford C600 C8000, so, um, yeah, I do think it's a decent rig. What is the difference between the 600 and the 8000? Is it just okay? Heavy, the six hundred was weight? actually civilian, was civilian, whereas the eight thousand was intentionally built for the fire services. I see. So yeah. So probably like rated for better for better stuff. It was a stronger chassis, I better rated chassis. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like the Fords. Well, how they Fords and the Chevys how they have like their twenty five hundred, you know, two fifties, three fifties, etc. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Was it was it a <laughs> uh, was it a freak show or what? Oh, trooper! Anything you're involved in is a freak show, like myself. Uh okay. Hey, I insulted myself there too for you. Yes, indeed, indeed. But yeah, I mean, definitely an interesting mod for sure. Um, Clearly, a couple of issues, but nothing's perfect. So, yeah. Yes, indeed. I and think it was be pretty fun. Back to actually doing commentary. Uh, not commentary. Uh, commentary. Yes. You know, it's late. But yeah, yes. it's and, uh, very good. But yes, but AJ, the uh, the Project Nostalgia mod, LA in the eighties and nineties, they do have a uh, a night. Um, multiplayer, like multiplayer vehicles, just for multiplayer. So that way, like we can just spawn everything. You know. <laughs> you also got the Manchester, New Hampshire mod. The mod I'm partial to. Mhm. Mm well, obviously. <laughs> but yes. But yeah. Hey, you just have to beg and plead and hope and pray that you know that the M4 is going to go on sale, and I'll get it then. Yes, but yes, we'll we'll see you. Anyway. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Catch you later, folks.